yard line got the 46, and it'll be first in 10 Alta. In the black on the way, plays good for a first down. Fake the fly sweep. Gonna go DeAndre and he's dropped at the line of scrimmage. And a point that could be likes of a broadcaster is silver numbers on white jerseys. And uh, I'll do my best and try to pick those up. It'll be second down 11 on the loss of one. Hit the screen and inside of Farmington territory to the 45 yard line. Pass out in the front. Good down to the 45 yard line. Third and two. I believe on the reception there was number 81. That was Jensen Campbell. Second down and one. He gets the 44 for the first down. Alta had the sideline warning. Imagine two down territory with Coach Teo. Randolph near side. The give is the black. And he's right to the yards of game. Need to get to the 44, got there. Not much more than that, but it'll be a fresh set of downs for Alta. Year three for Coach Daniel Coates in the Farmington Phoenix. Coach, coach Coates at Farmington. It's only the third year in existence for the Farmington Phoenix. Last year had a terrific season. Head to the quarterfinals. Graduated a lot of talent, but a young team. Sophomore quarterback, he plays tonight. Starter in Patterson. And it's first and ten for Alpha. Three on the play clock, up the snap. Jackson pumps, now fires. Randolph just could not pull that one in. Pulls that one into the tight coverage. And it's broken up. Second down and 10 for Alton. 9.09 left in the first quarter. Opening drive of the ball game if you're just joining us. Two by two formation. Again, Randolph in the quarterback. DeAndre gets to the 40. Gain of four on second down. Make it third down and six. Is four yards, third and six. Campbell and Hanson near side, Randolph to the top of the screen. A quick set, fire to the flat, and it's first down yardage inside the 30 yard line, still going. To the 26 on the catch and run. And on the catch and run for Alpha. Is number 19, Tabita Mafaleo. Jackson fast for Mafilo. Good for a first down. First and 10 for the Hawks. Seeing Hanson at the top of the screen. 
Ademio in motion. Going to throw the fade, looking for Randolph. DeAndre gets some separation, makes the catch. Touchdown, Alpha. This one might be coming off the board. DeAndre Randolph. Good for the touchdown. DeAndre Randolph, a little Michael Irvin getting a little separation on that one. The playmaker didn't got called for this one. It's off the back. Pass interference offense. They bring the play back. Bring it back is take off the touchdown there for DeAndre Randolph. It'll be first and 15 after the penalty. You know about DeAndre Randolph. That kid makes two or three catches a game. Make your eyes bulge out of your forehead. Week two or week three against Torilla where he kind of pinned the defender's face mask. So first and 15, 7.53 left in the first. Set up a screen, and it's Randolph on the middle screen. Slips out a long tackle, still going inside the 25. And dives to the 30. Got an injured Phoenix on the play. Nice catch and run by DeAndre Randolph. Second down in five. Screen pass good to the 30. Got an injured Farmington player. Injury time now. penalty, but the touchdown should stand for Ademio. Good. 722 left in the first out of the board. You are watching the 25. 
Friday State Tournament. We are the top shot by Alpha 7. So the score at the 722 mark of the first quarter is Alpha 7. On the team zero.
And it's first and ten Alpha. Our sponsor is Riley Jensen Consulting, who's a former offensive coordinator here at Alpha. Look at on Twitter that this is a D1 receiver, and I couldn't support that anymore. Still waiting to see the recruiting action on DeAndre to pick up. Five seconds on the play clock. And Sam Black on the carry. Center gets to the six yard line. It's a mark of 27. Three minutes and 15 seconds to go here in the opening quarter. Now the lead is seven, eight, 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 eight. Second and seven. And that's why Tim Gray is my center field. So good thing that his baseball coach next to us. Just good ball skills. Reads it well. Attacks the ball in the air. Made a diving kick. Jackson Foss intended to be Andre Landa. Incomplete. Third down. Seven to go, third down and long. Jackson, quick set, fires, complete. incomplete. Come off the layup. Let's see the decision here for Coach Tao. I think it is a we go for it. There's no Here's on here. It's a 12 yard difference on this field goal for the ball for 20. Or a punt was in the end zone. Campbell Mafaleo and Hanson to the top of the screen. DeAndre Randolph near side. Black in the backfield with Jackson. Again throwing in the butt. It's intercepted. And going the other way and nobody's going to touch him. It's going to be a pick six for Cannon Two. Jackson threw in the coverage, Toon picked it off, and the when he back in offense showed you the speed as he pulled away and he's getting in the end zone. 217 left in the first quarter. Out to seven. Farmington six point after coming up.
Saints team fired up after that defensive touchdown. Ford Progress has got him at the 17 yard line. So Uncle Moe sitting right now on the Farmington sideline. He's right up. Back that thought to 6 a semifinals and championship games in neutral high school fields. 5A will be playing semifinals and championship games at Dixie State University. 4A will play semifinals at high school, I believe they're home sites, and then the championship game at Dixie State. I don't think it'd be the sign of the 6 a semifinals and championships, potentially. First and 10 at the 17. Carry across the 20 yard line with the 22. Albio on the carry. Black on the carry, good for five yards. Second down. Awesome. And don't you forget it. What we are awesome. And don't you forget it. What we are awesome. And don't you forget it. What we are awesome. And don't you forget it. What we are awesome. And don't you forget it. What we are awesome. And don't you forget it. What we are awesome. Back dive and nothing there. Stood up, driven back by Farmington defense, giving up the line of scrimmage. Gain a one. Get third down and four. Seconds on rolling clock. Jackson. Fires complete for the first down. This is Campbell on the reception. It'll be first and 10 Hawks at the 31 yard line. 41 seconds to go in the quarter. We'll reset the chains and we'll start it back up. turned in by Farmington. This has been a frustrating year for the Phoenix. Trying to back up that year from a year ago. They won the best teams in 5A. About to make it to the semifinals. Now comes Patterson and the Phoenix. Only their second possession on offense. Going to throw. Patterson. He was fortunate there. The Hawkins will take the 10 to the second round. On that one, with Dylan Thomas on the fence. And second down and ten. Yeah. 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 It's two in the backfield. Down and five after the out the penalty. Any coach the second and five. About baseball coaches will die on the field after a walk. Football coaches will die on the field after an offside or a false start. Especially when this guy outside looking down at the ball. Second down and five after the outside. Set back field here for Patterson. <laughs> Pressure 
pressure coming. Patterson, not going to get away from it. Glad he goes. And on the sack for Alta was Gable Fisa. And that'll do it for the first quarter. And at the end of one, it's out to seven, the Farmington the six. Quarter, you are watching the 2007 Farmington six. Did you know that Tosh specialists provide free sports injury assessments for student athletes Monday through Friday, all year round? Just call 801 314 2996 to make an appointment and let Tosh, the orthopedic specialty hospital, help you get off the sidelines and back in the game. Once again, in case you missed it, that's 801 314 2996. Get going on the rhythm game. Certainly, have shown that 
Christopher plays. It's Anson Jumio. Out of the day, has a touchdown for Alpha. The one score for the Hawks. Found the eye formation. to the 22 yard line and get second down and eight for Alpha. Coach Lemateo trying to get back to the semifinals for the first time since his first season at Alpha. Josh Davis and Will Dana. The Rising Stadium fell to the Springville Red Devils. Lost them the next year in the finals and they just not been able to Including since then, as far as being a threat to win a 5 8 championship. Jackson finds Black out of the backfield. He's got a little bit of room across the 30, 35 out of bounds at the 39 yard line. As you mark him at the 38, it'll be first and 10 Hawks at the 38 yard line. Play for Alpha is they calm down. Back to back drives, the turnovers, the one with a pick six. It's the most powerful play of the fumble that they didn't need to any points. And it's on Neo on the fly sweep, and he's dropped in the backfield. And that was Toon. Toon had the pick six, he makes the play there. And it'll be second down and 11. It's amazing that the smaller crowds are here. You just can't tell this culture. 9.30 left. Downfield ends up firing underneath, incomplete. Intended for Hanson. It'll be third down and ten. Hanson crossed out and incomplete pass. Third and ten. Go back to Manning on 
the ground. He's got a seam. Manning inside of Alpha territory to the 40-yard line. First and 10, and the Phoenix. He's good down to the Alpha 40-yard line. Nice job with left side of that line. Manning exploited it. Nice burst to the 40.
look, make, looking to make it hurt. As now we have a timeout taken. Timeout, Farmington, 6.03 left in the half. You're watching Desert News Rewind's coverage of the Friday State. Timeout, Farmington, their first timeout. The Toss Sports Training Program is designed for the individual athlete in mind. Discover your elite athlete at Toss, your orthopedic specialty hospital. Call 801-314-2996. That's 314-2996. First and ten, Farmington. Mr. Brown on the road. Hot pass and needs to the well actually in fourth progress to the 11 yard line. Second down and eight, Farmington. Good way to get your special percentage up. Goal in the first half. Out showing pressure, brings pressure. Patterson, oh, he nearly got that one picked off. Papaleo broke it up. It'll be third down and eight. And this is broken up. And Tavita Mafaleo, I believe who that was. was uh, he was at the 50 yard line by the time the ball was it will be third down and eight. Two down territory for Dan Coates. Of course, Coach Coates is a former Mr. Football in the state of Utah. State championships for Fred Fernandez in Northridge High School. Played at BYU. Cincinnati Bengals. Third down and long. Patterson fires toward the end zone. Got a man, and it's just incomplete. It'll be fourth down for Farmington. Now the decision time for Coach Coates. Nice and fast, incomplete. Fourth down. Very surprised to see the uh, Investment. 
www.utah.law and get a free consultation with your associates. Yep, man, takes that. He's going to the ball in the 21 yard line. See the down kick. Kick off is coming up. Great to shift. Offensively. One yard line. Sharp on their first drive. First and ten for the Hawks. Lighting things up a little bit. Two turnovers. An empty possession. Since that opening drive. Resulted in a Cardamillo touchdown.
no personal foul penalty against Delta. <laughs> to Paul Abdul's song. Two steps forward and take two steps back. Here's a personal foul. It looks like it's a personal reason. First down is a dead ball penalty. So inside of three minutes we go. Black in motion, DeAndre looking to throw, Randolph still looking, now going to take off, and Randolph is on the back inside the field, and Randolph scrambles to the left side. So gain of five, make a second down of five. He's on the second five. second and five. Left in the half, if we can get there. Mike Christensen, he gets to be the color guy with all the microphone today. Dane Stewart on the microphone. Dane's at our game of the week, Westlake and Hunter. And he took that one out. Randolph and Ron, the quarterback draw. 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 Go to my.ksldesertnews.com. Go to my. 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 Go be the backup quarterback. He's not a quarterback. He's a center fielder. He does have a good arm, but you see the quarterback intricacies right there. That ball gripped it. Came out. Unfortunately, it wasn't there second. But also, we have the Umont Lehigh game as well. It's Caleb Lemming and Ethan Fleming are there. Bring his main games to Fox Hall. It's the second one of the day. It's a for Hillcrest Arena. In motion, Randolph still looking, Gabby still looking, still looking. Now he's going to try to run and he's pushed out of bounds. He's done by the corners and back in, keeping everything in front of him. The sideline became an extra defender. Pushed out of bounds to the sack, incredible. To Wyatt Gilman. down to the 45 yard line. It'll be fourth down. And we round up on the score. It's in the 45 yard line.
kick, takes an alpha roll. Brought to you by the Utah Army National Guard. Looking for the next step in your career, get the $20,000 in signing bonus to on um, the job training opportunity. Into medical engineering, or what it is, over 150 job training opportunities at National Guard, at, through the National Guard. Go to nationalguard.com. See what those opportunities are. What kind of signing bonus should you get? So everything's a little long. First round of the state tournament. Winner of this game goes on to play Bonneville. Bonneville Lakers are region five champions. Since 02, the outright region champion. First and ten from West Patterson. Pressure comes, he fires it.
So it's going to be Alpha getting the puck here. Pressure on that kick just got it away. And that takes an Alpha off. Sounds like a Phil Mickelson line on the football at the 47 yard line. Let's see if Ethan Jackson, I believe he's back into the huddle. He gets his ankle spat on that scramble a couple tries ago. Is this Farmington defense giving credit? They have stymied the Alpha offense after that first drive. They got the pick six, they forced the fumble. They're probably going to check. They're going to do it again. 126 left in the half. Down. 
Three seconds to go in the half. And Patterson steps up, going to take off. Patterson makes another move, and he's right at the marker. He gets to the 47. I believe he got there, and he did. It'll be first and 10. Farmington, 22.8 seconds left in the half. Zirk right back to the line of scrimmage. He needs to snap that ball that caught him at the free play. Patterson with 15 seconds. Now rolling. Patterson brought down near midfield. We'll call it the 47. And Coach Coates will let this clock run out. As we go to halftime, it is Alta leading Farmington 14 to 9. You are watching the 5A first round on Deseret News Rewind on Deseret and live.ksl.com. I'll be right back. Inside the half house, okay. right there, so on the, right in the middle. It's all new to me. Yeah. I've been in there, yeah, that's yeah, nice looking. When you walk in, you get to look through yeah. and if you see inside, see the glass on the other side. Cool. But yeah, it's, it's nice. And then upstairs is, you know, gallery. And these are the Alpha High School cheerleaders.
So I coached to help her. Did you? So 05 to 20. So was 20. Jeff still out there? Cisneros? Jeff's His son's actually doing some coaching. Yeah. yeah. He's running it now. Yeah, so I coached with Jeff. I played for Jeff, then I coached with Jeff. Okay. Yeah, we played out there this summer. Uh, yeah. So it's fun. Yeah, I went to, let's see. I went to, uh, Friday night. Yeah. And they played, uh, I haven't been to a helper game ever. Like, my wife and I got married. I got married on a Monday, our state tournament started on Saturday. So I get home and I want to take like, a private picture of her at the engagements on that field. It's my favorite place. Yeah. <laughs> we played a 2 2 record in that tournament out there. We played Salem Hills to extra innings and lost, and we played over to extra innings. So I got two Hey. Yeah, I did. I keep trying to turn them off, but sure they're all on. And then I think Stefan thought it was a seven. I called him because <laughs> you were like, "Hey, he's not there." I'm like, "Hey, call him." Like, hey man. I'm like, "Hey, are you almost there?" And he's like, "Yeah." Because I'm like ten out, ten minutes out, and then he starts talking to me. All right, that's all you need to do. Anyway, get back to your game. Yeah, I love that place. Was, uh, I was excited to get down because we did the last chance tournament. Yeah. So I talked to Haney and the U and I said, yeah, and so this son coaches them now. Yes. So I was hoping to yeah, see Scott's, the Scott's, Scott's son is the uh, head coach at Utah Yeah, U.S. Eastern, yeah. That new sauce would see. Yeah. Yeah. High school kids, really. When I grew up, so I grew up down there. Yeah. Scott Matt or Eric Madsen had that place uh -huh. rocking. Yeah. Uh, not so much anymore. That breaks my heart. Yeah. I know that Kirk is trying. Scott. Yeah. 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 No, so uh, when I came here from Arizona, it's like I sort of came to the game and uh, they, uh, we played in Micronesia in Arizona, so when I was getting ready to go here, I, uh, you know, I reached out to Micronesia and, and uh, 
I saw you guys were in there. I was so excited. Uh, I was like, just seeing it come yeah. back. We'll be out there again this summer. I wish I did. My wife wouldn't let me do it now. And actually, we'll be, we'll be a road team. So we'll and we had our first daughter. My wife said, like, you can be a dad or a baseball player. <laughs> you already, if you're going all year long with your stuff anyway, she's like, I'm going to let you coach while you're doing this too. Yeah, I've got eight girls. Oh, really? Five. five Myself and then I remarried. Okay, I inherited three, but all girls. <laughs> we just had our first boy yesterday. Yeah, we had congratulations. Three, thank you. We had three girls and a boy. That's awesome. <laughs> we'll be back to the hospital. Actually, we'll shoot our videos. Leave here, we'll shoot our videos. Okay. And we'll go to the hospital. Are you reading up for Yeah. So you can give me your stuff. You can I'll give me your card. Thank you. We'll be able to make it out there, but it feels like a really sweet studio, so 
pull out of, yeah, Chamber West. Chamber West. Yeah. Such a bad. Did you get a chance to see through? Yeah, I did. Oh, super cool. That's cool. I feel like I was like in PYU or something. <laughs> Field house and all that. Awesome. Did you know that top specialists provide free sports injury assessments for student athletes? Monday through Friday, all year round. Just call 801 314 2996 to make appointments and let Tosh, the orthopedic specialty hospital, help you get off the sidelines and back in the game. Yes, sir. Jackson play baseball? Uh, Ethan? Yeah. I don't think so. I have him in class right now, and I'm, I'm trying to convince him that he should. Yep. I, uh, when I was at quarter, I tried to get Zach Wilson to put up play. I was, I was in his ear all the time. Hey, I always loved him when the quarterback came up to play ball. I was in his ear all the time. I was like, come on down and play. Uh, I haven't played since I was I don't care. Are you can throw the teacher. Get out of here. Now you just have to play the baseball team by the ball. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. I picked up a bunch of stuff that I used. No, it was it was it was a movie and House is in it. It's uh, where they take the two kids from uh, that never played baseball. Right? Yeah, the Golden Arm. Yeah. So I, I told my son he's watching it. I said, "Custom." He goes. Talk to me about it. I said, yeah, where do you think I learned it? He goes, you know him? I said, yeah. He's on the I did. I said, he's the guy who bought Hank Aaron's home runs in the bullpen. I remember I was seven. And now that camp, my brother's in the bullpen. I remember the bullpen. I always showed him. He's awesome. He's <laughs> awesome. Give me this stupid bike. <laughs> Never lost it. Oh. Oh. Maybe is he still the same? Oh, he doesn't look any different than when, you know, because we had him here a couple of years. You know, Bobby brought him over here to do a couple of things and stuff. I very wise I really be honest. I got rid of it. I always do it. Tom also said, I don't know your He said, no, I don't believe that. I don't think it's that big of a deal anymore. He's still just call the ball. He loves to get down the hill, man.
out the Hawks. Second half is underway. Ball going in the end zone. He goes into the end zone for a lot of touchdowns. Patterson and the offense will take over. The offense has had a hard time getting moving here for Farmington. It's been kind of the, the story throughout the season. The defense has been able to keep the games low scoring. The offense was young and developing. they got to come through. The only points on the board they kick the field goal before the end of the half. The touchdown was a pick six. So first and ten. Patterson hands off the main. Danny Craig double tackles, bounces off another, and that's a gain of eight on first down. They get second down and two. Nice job on that left side of the line with Manning, the sophomore running back. His legs churning. A couple things for both these teams that work out here in the second half. Lower the penalties. Not just penalties, big ones. 15 more penalties right there at the end of the second quarter. Now they're cleaning up both their sides. Second down to two. Ground of motion. Back to Manning on the ground. Third down and one. Third down one. Uh, Patterson rather sneaks it. He does, goes to the left side, and need to get the 30, and the mark is at the 30. Don't need the yard. First and 10 now for Farmington. Sneak there from Patterson. Call the first down. Two receivers to the near side, one to the top of the screen. Brown is the near side receiver. Manning in the backfield with the pistol. Back to Manning on the ground. He stood up and dropped in the backfield. On the count, Stack up in the back of the one up. Shears hooked the ball but the tackle made. By Alpha's number 22. That is uh, Colton Lingman. Ball inside of 10 minutes left in the third quarter. Just joining us will be possession of the second half. Two by two set. Over the middle, the kick's made by Brown. It's John Lewis. A couple big hits from Alpha. Making the big hit there is Michael Kafusi, and now a late flag comes in. It's a clean hit square in the back. Hit him in the back. Hit him square in the back. Square in the back. All the players' safety, especially at this level, but that was not a helmet to helmet hit. He didn't lower his head or anything.
41 yard line. 940 left in the third. 30 yards of penalties here. Maybe Farmington in the Alpha territory.
minute. Some of the back goal, don't be said anything. But the back judge was there. That was a, uh, you always watch it. That was a Riley Jensen special. I think you learned that from the main channel. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Pulls that one in. It's a 35. Second down and nine. And off the reception is a 35 right now. Right? Coach Will and then Barker. Our receiver coach here at Alpha is a stud here at Alpha. Wes Hamilton and Bob Stevens. The blade arrived. Jim Jones and also Nick Rolovich.
207 left in the third quarter. Seems turning black and white. Red's kind of been a throw in color. Black and silver. Silver. For those of us who are Raider fans, we're part of Raider Nation. Silver and black. Can't have it all. Kick goes in for the automatic touch, though. Black and silver. First team to the team. They can't even have their own time. comes Patterson, yeah. Patterson in the Farmington offense. A must need situation for this offense. Elkins in motion. Patterson left it short. The ball looks really easy. That is a hard throw. You under threw it. Slip it down to Especially more difficult than the team. Second down. They do a catch and run. Madison, and there's a shovel. Love that look and that. Is across the 30 yard line to the 31. And I believe that was Elkins. Silver and white uniform. I'm struggling. I apologize to the super hard to see these numbers. She's catching glares here. That name brand, but I'm not buying stock in many times soon. First and ten. It's Manning. That's the line of scrimmage at the 31 yard line. Second down. That rival. There's Boston Rhino on the carry. I apologize. One inside a minute, ten seconds left in the third. So pressure brings pressure. Patterson trying to get away. And just how to do it. The receiver in the area. Malcolm, a thousand of pressure, and it gets home. The third down and ten. Seconds to go on the third. Third and ten. For Farmington, we got a full check now. Moves along the line. Five yard fault start penalty against the Phoenix. Third down and fifteen. Down. I 
Brandon and Associates are there for you. www.utonic.com. Set up a free consultation. Now that if you're looking to do living will and trust, they do a flat rate. They're not charging you by the hour. The flat rate to get your living will and trust. And they will go until everything's right. Flat rate for you. And it's www.utonic.com. Two receivers near side, it is Randolph in the slot. Black, black across the 40 yard line, 42. The final play of the quarter, Falcons chooses. Five seconds on the rolling clock, 28 on the plate. Jackson, pump still looking. Open downfield, still gonna get rid of the ball, just doesn't, it's complete to Hanson. Ethan Jackson took it right in the shots, but he completes the pass and it'll be an out of first down. And that is the final play of the third quarter. We head to the fourth quarter, and it's all out of Moxley 28 tonight. You're watching the 2020 5A first round. That is the end of the third quarter. We score out of the third quarter.
couple of full snap penalties left in this football game. Jackson sets up a screen. Not pressure got right to him. Nice job by Toon. Giving Jackson space. He could not get enough ball to get it to DeAndre Randolph and make it third down and 11. 11.06 left in the fourth quarter. As we remind you that we're outfitted by Black Clover. We love our Black Clover here. Our sweatshirt, favorites. That's the picture in the fourth quarter. We're the code DNR20. We're going to order at blackcloverusa.com. Third down, 11. Pressure coming. Jackson slips it. He's got a man wide open. It's DeAndre Randolph. Makes the catch. Or this is Campbell. Touchdown. Off the Hawks. A Houdini act by Ethan Jackson. Avoids three Farmington defenders to find the open Campbell who walks into the end zone. in the third quarter. An alpha in firm control. And the kick is up, and it is good. The point attempt is good. 10.55 left in the fourth quarter. It's all hot. Score this point. Alpha 35.
third down and seven. Ten fifteen left in the fourth. Trips to the near side. One receiver at the top of the screen for Patterson. Steps up. Takes off. And slips one. Cat gets the 30. Gets to the 29-yard line. It'll be a yard shy of the marker. It's going to be fourth down. And Ten shot short of the first down. Motion. Dan Coates. down earlier in the half. It was a quarterback run that didn't quite get there. We got three seconds, two seconds. Just got that snap off and now a timeout. Followed by Farmington. 10 4 left in the fourth quarter. We are watching the final first round of the Desert News Rewind. Now uh, Farmington. set up to go down stay at the house. You know, I've always come to Vince's head that you and I went to stay there. Out of the timeout, fourth down and two. Got to get to the 30-yard line. And Patterson's going to run. And reaches out. I believe he got there right at the 30. He just got there. Just got that away. It's Elkins. He slips a tackle across the 40. 45. And time to the midfield. Nice catch and run by Elkins. And it'll be first and 10. Farmington. Trips to the top of the screen, one receiver near side. Patterson goes away from the pressure, fires, and that's complete once again. We're going to pass a rule that there's no longer allowed to be silver on that. We have full teams in the state that have the uniforms. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Farmington, Skyridge, Lone Peak has these same uniforms. Pressure yeah. <laughs> once again from Alton. Patterson got away from it. Nice move. Still going inside the 40. Drew Patterson widens out to the 35-30. 25 and inside the 25 yard line. It'll be first and 10 Farmington. Best play of the night for Drew Patterson. Back to back big first plays for Farmington. Nine minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Not just going to go quietly into the night. They won't go down without a fight. Trips to your side. Waiting. Throws to 
along the sideline. This is a good thing. Please. Leave that to Brown. Continue to Brown on the reception. Took care of Granger, Riverton, 
all the way from Leighton, Westlake and Hunter. Uh, Westlake won that one 35-23. And uh, Harriman, West Jordan, it's currently Harriman 26-15 in the fourth quarter. Stephen Cruz on the call there for us. Desert News Rewind Games. Geneva Convention going on right now with <laughs> this call. It is currently 29 to 15 in Airman Lee West Jordan. This is why now you have officials as part of all the broadcasts everywhere. Well, the good news is the now we got an offside so thing instead of a start. <laughs> and uh, we'll go half the distance to the goal. We'll retry the down they call personal foul. Personal foul penalty against Dalton. That'll be assessed on the kickoff. Clarkson's onside kick will be a little bit shorter than this. Patterson is going to pitch it to that option. Nine hold. Just able to get rid of it. It was tipped around and then caught off the Karen. Offensive lineman. Big man with football. They might just even grab that number. You see where everybody's giving love to? That is number 50. That is Justin Keats living out the lineman's dream. As that ball got tipped back toward him, Keats said, hey, Coach Coates, make me a tight end. 7-11 left in the fourth quarter. It's 35-17 out there. You're watching the Friday first round on Desert News Rewind. <laughs> You guys don't understand they don't get paid by the hour. Oh my god, Unsportsmanlike conduct penalty on Farmington. So we should be kicking from the normal spot before the yard line, and that negates the personal foul penalty against Alta on the touchdown. We'll wait for the judges later. We'll go through the scorecard. 35 17 with 7 11 left in the fourth quarter. Still a three score game. Come on. 
Wilson Murray on the catch and run. Number 74. Speaking of living out a dream, Wilson Bowie, he did talk Coach Taylor to make him a tight end. Romeo in motion, they go to Anson. Touch it up inside. Inside the 25 to the 24 yard line will be second down and four. Down to five. Hanson on the carry, down to the 25. <laughs> Dylan Thomas to the top of the screen. Randolph near side on Mio and now in motion. Going to Randolph. DeAndre makes it just a Kenyon Brown going down to the ground to pull that one in. Gain of 11. 
11, so another fresh set of downs for Farmington. But Dane Stewart and I also have all of your good tournament. We'll do every 5 8 and 6 8 semifinal championship game, the 4 8 semifinals. We'll have one of our crews there, yeah, but we will have the 4 8, 5 8, and 6 8 state championships right here on Deseret News Radio and live at KSL and DeseretNews.com. Is Manning into the open field? 10. Oh, just tripped up for the 10 yard line. Had a seam, exploited it. It'll be first and goal of Farmington. First and goal for Farmington. And a touchdown saving tackle made with some consequences there by Mafaleo, I believe. Oh, the Mafaleo was a. Fixes his shoes there. Evan Manning with a big run there for Farmington. That was Mafaleo just a, took him a second to get up. Needs to do some more of the rocky sit-ups. We crawl inside of five minutes left in the fourth. Checks into the backfield. And I'll go to him. And he won't get there. He's 
two-point conversion is no good. The two-point conversion is no good. With 3.08 left, it is Alpha 42, Ferguson 23. You're watching the 5A State Tournament. This one, player, player of the game? Player of the game. Across the 45 yard line, it'll be fourth down 
16 left.
well designed. That was awesome. We wasted it. We're gonna have an offside penalty on Alta.